A Fraction's Goal, Parts of a Whole, by Brian P. Clearly, illustrated by Brian Gable. Fractions are a portion, a piece, or just a part of something that is larger, like this segment on this chart. Or look at this round pizza. It can be cut in two or four, or six, or eight, or more, whatever best suits you. So from what I could see here, these are all whole pieces. They're just cut into different parts or different portions, but they still make up a whole pizza. That's interesting. But let's say that it's cut in two and you pick up one slice if you've got one piece out of two, it's one half to be precise. Next, cut that pizza into four and take one single piece. That's one fourth now. Can you see how the size has been decreased? That's interesting as well. It looks like the more pieces you cut the pizza in, the smaller the size you get. That's interesting, think about that. So now, if someone wants half, two slices will be needed. Two fourths and one half are the same. There are different ways to read it. Now I'm confused. Two fourths and one half are the same? Well, from what I could see here, these are both whole pizzas. This one was cut in half and one half is left. This one was cut in fourths and two fourths was left. So as you can see, they're both halves, but this one was just cut in two. That's interesting. Fractions also work with groups like two thirds of the players, seven eighths of jugglers and half of the mares. Pretend you have three uncles and two came for a visit. That would mean two thirds were there. That's not so hard now, is it? Two thirds because you have three uncles and only two came to visit. So two out of the three uncles came to visit. Let's say the third one then showed up to join in all the fun. That's one whole group of uncles because three thirds equals one. Fractions come in handy if you ever help with baking. You'll see them in the recipes for breads and cakes you're making. Three fourths tablespoon of salt, add two thirds cup of flour, five eighths cup of chocolate chips, and bake for half an hour. The numerator is the word for the number that's on top. Like the three that's in, we lost three tenths of this year's crop. Yikes. And I'm going to give you guys a little hint. The numerator is the fraction or the part that we're talking about. Three tenths, the numerator is the three. The number underneath the slash is a denominator. Note that nearly all the time this bottom number is greater. So the denominator is at the bottom. And I'm also going to give you guys a next hint. The denominator is what we need to get a whole. Fractions can be used in pizzas, planes, and creams, and plants. You'll know more than just a portion if you give them half a chance. So what is a fraction? Do you know?